We're going to switch gears right now and talk a little bit with Saul Valeda. He is an assistant professor of anatomy at UC San Francisco, studying the possibilities of reversing the aging process. This is the, you know, this is the moment that the, the fountain of youth that everybody everybody searches for. Saul, so, uh, how realistic is it? Yeah, I, I definitely I, I tell people, you know, we're 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 not going after making you immortal and living forever. But what we're saying is. You know, we want to make it so that you can live well as long as possible. So we're really about health span and really extending that. Most of the diseases that happen in the elderly happen in the last, you know, two decades of life: Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, cardiovascular disease. And the biggest risk factor: getting old, aging. So what happens if instead of sort of tackling a disease on its own, you you track the actual process, getting older itself? Is there some way of slowing it? Are there key hallmarks that we can just halt? And that prevents the disease from happening. And that's what I think we can do. You've been studying young blood. How, how does yeah. young blood help? And what's the difference between young blood and old blood? Yeah, so let's, let's go in blood in general. You know, it's the one thing that connects every single thing in your body. Your heart to your pancreas to your liver to your brain, everything goes through blood. It's like a highway. And what we were realizing is it's also an information map. They're talking to each other. And as one gets older, uh, the other one is also going to feel that and we're understand that. We're looking at a picture right now. Oh, yeah. What's the, what's the so those are just us? Those are actually zoomed in versions of little parts of the neurons, the brain cells um, that you have. And those are actually uh, from a mouse. And they've been there the entire life of the animal. So that would be the equivalent of a young person around 25 and an old person around 65 to 70. And, and what's get all older, the extra hairy stuff on this? Those little hairy, I call them little spines, like a, like a stem. On, um, those are actually the physical connections where the two neurons are talking to each other, the synapses. And what happens when you get older, they start going away. Um, and what ends up happening is you give young blood to an old animal, you bring them back. So it's not just about bringing new cells, it's about taking old cells and making them okay, younger. Describe that. You've done this in the lab. With yeah. You. Doing what? Uh, we, so there's a couple ways we do it. One way is this really old technique from like the 1600s where you connect two mice together. You make little Siamese twins where you take a young animal, an old animal, and you connect them together. And then you just pump it. So two things happen. Number one, the thing that we're excited about is young blood reverses aging. The opposite is also true, though. Old I mean, blood wait, wait, is bad. This, is, this sounds like the 17th century of, <laughs> no, of how much we know about it. What, what, What's in, do you know what's in the blood that's helping? No, that's great. That we'll would be, that would help. That, that, that's the whole, that's the point, right? The point is to is identify. Like, sounds like you're leeching people. I mean, they, they used to try that too. <laughs> no, no, no we're, we're not, we're not like letting go of the humors like they no, did back know, then. No, I know, but, and, but I, is, it, is, it, is it immune factors? Yeah. Is it cytokines? Is it, is it uh, white yeah. blood cells or red blood cells? So two things are going on. As you're getting older, inflammation is happening. And right. things like you said, cytokines going up. Right. There's these inflammatory molecules. When okay. you're, you're young, answering. though, we're losing things too. What's that? What do you make? What do, you, what do you make of uh, folks who are doing this, you, actually doing this to themselves? I Meaning there are people in Silicon Valley we hear who are taking, who are, who are doing transfusions yeah. with young blood themselves. Taking a blood boy. In a very Dracula-like way. I, absolutely. What I, what I tell people is, is going back to what you said, which is identifying the yeah, thing. Let's, right? let's in a see controlled what we're doing, right? environment when we have the actual, you How know, How many people, everything. though, do you know who actually do this to themselves? So I don't know anyone who's doing it, but I do know that there, are, there have been some clinical trials, places such as like Stanford has had one that's more of a, a safety one where we know, okay, Nothing bad will happen short term if you Andrew, do a plasma I mean, phoresis. That's, that's like your stupid nasal spray that you, you don't just uh, you, you jump uh, on these like well, fads. But, but how you how could you, I know that, but they're yeah, but they'll they'll jump on any fad You're like that. That's, but you really you want to make it into a drug. I mean, right. you yeah, want to you want to find out which factors are work, isolate the factors and use those. You just don't Absolutely. do this. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.